Here's Bill's woodworking shop in Floyd County, Virginia. Bill is fortunate to buy about 120 vintage logs from cabins and barns that were built about 150 years ago. He's now cutting these logs into lumber to make into fine furniture. You'll enjoy seeing this. Well, here's a pile of uh, here's a pile of chestnut logs that uh, Bill bought about 120 of these. These are these chestnut logs. The logs came from an old tobacco barn in uh, Smith County, Virginia, um, back in the fall. Um, they were putting in a housing development and a large construction company went in and had this tobacco barn on site that needed to, to uh, be taken down. Um, I knew the people that owned the company and they, they contacted me asking me if I'd be interested in the chestnut logs. Um, and of course I was. Um, I purchased the logs. Uh, a lot of the bigger logs are rotten on the inside, so you can't see that when you buy the logs unless you were to cut one in half. Um, you know, so sometimes you get a lot of waste. You know, you're getting something. Um, you're, you're paying for something that's really no good. Um, the the barn was built back. What I'm told, the barn was built back in the 1850s um, as a tobacco barn. I'm finding that a lot of these logs that are for sale around Southwest Virginia are. Um, all the same. It's like they built the barns back then, whether they were in Smith County, Wythe County, you know, Roanoke County. All the barns were built the same. They, they used the same technique. Most of the logs are all between 16 and 22 foot long. Um, same type of notches. And um, you get your better lumber out of the smaller logs because they haven't checked yet, which means they haven't cracked. Um, you know, so you've, uh, like an 8 inch log, you'll get, you'll get right around 50 to 60 board feet out of it. And, um, that's, you know, that's, that's huge where if I get a 14 inch chestnut log, sometimes I'm only getting maybe 30 board feet out of it because of the rot. And, um, you know, there's a lot of these barns around Virginia, you know, you see in the fields and, you know, the roofs are blown off them and, and the logs are now exposed to the weather. Uh, where they've checked and cracked, the water's getting inside there and rotting the logs again from the inside out. And, um, you know, these people don't want to part with their barns, they're more of a, um, you know, uh, a t you know, the tourists love to see them. Um, the homeowners have had them on their property for a hundred years plus, and they, you know, they're just not ready to take them down. But unfortunately, I think within the next 15 to 20 years, most of these barns are pretty much going to be falling down, and we've wasted the, the lumber now, the logs, and um, and now they're good for nothing. So. When people are taking their barns down and selling them to people, you know, I think that's a great thing because we're able to reclaim the lumber, use it in furniture, use it in kitchens, use it in, 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 in flooring, and, um, and, and have a chance to use this lumber all over again, rather than seeing it go to waste out in these fields and out in the woods of Virginia.